Hey everybody, it's giveaway time. I have reached 25,000 subscribers, so this is my 25,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to have another giveaway at 30,000 subscribers. So stick around to see what I'm giving away. And today's recipe is going to be how to make chicken pot pie. It's going to be quick and easy to throw together, so stick around. I am so excited because I am going to be giving away an Uno Casa cast iron Dutch oven. This is enameled. So this is a six quart. Look at the inside, beautiful. This is um, black cast iron. So I like this because it's not white on the inside. So this is not going to stain. And also, I like the fact that this is pretty heavy. The bottom is nice and flat. You can use it for your glass stove tops if you have those or induction like I am perfect so it won't wobble you can have even heat dis um, distribution and it comes with a card here that tells you how to take care of your cast iron as well as a little freebie that you can scan here if you have Facebook Messenger you just scan that and then it comes with uh, two pot holders these are silicone two silicone pot holders it's perfect for grabbing on the edges of the pot here and a silicone trivet so that way you can set this on top of your tables and you can set your dutch oven on top it won't burn your woods or your surfaces you can open up and serve your food so now i'm going to go ahead and begin with the recipe just listen to the video to find out how to join the giveaway i'm a dutch oven on high heat and I'm going to toss in four slices of pork that I cut up. And I know some of you are going to say, I don't eat pork. You don't have to use it, but I eat pork and it's delicious. So I'm going to just begin to brown the bacon. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium high. And I just want to cook this to begin to render some of that fat from the bacon. Now some of the fat begins to come from the bacon. I'm just moving my bacon around also to separate it because it was stuck together. You can see the bacon is beginning to render its fat and it's beginning to brown. So I'm going to add to this one medium sized red onion. So I'm just going to cook until the onion begins to get a bit tender until the bacon begins to brown a bit. It's not going to take long because we're working on medium high heat here. I'm going to turn the heat back up to high just going to keep fluctuating but I'm going to keep everything moving to help uh, get those bacon pieces browned a bit now to enter the contest simply leave a comment down below what you will make in your Dutch oven the rules are as follows you must be 18 years old in the United States of America and if you win you must send me a photograph of you with your prize when you receive it. That way I can feature the winner in one of the YouTube videos. So it's easy enough. And also you must uh, be able to contact me. So you don't have to know how to use an email or social media search. So it's that easy. So it, the rules came up on the screen. Um, it's clear. If anything that doesn't meet those standards, it will be simply ignored. Um, the winner will be announced on October the 23rd. So as my bacon here is almost completely brown, you see it's beginning to get a nice brown color to it. So I have here about one and a half pounds of chicken breast that I just cut up. And I cut it to about half inch pieces. You want to cut the chicken into even sized pieces. So that way your chicken can cook and get done at the same rate. Now you could definitely use something like cut up pork if you don't want to use chicken or you can use cut up turkey breast. You can use boneless skinless chicken thighs if you don't want to use chicken breast. But I like to use chicken breast. So what I'm going to do is just continue cooking the chicken breast here in my Dutch oven until it's completely done. So I'm going to allow this to sit and brown a bit 
so that way any juices that's going to be released from the chicken will have a chance to sort of evaporate. So we're going to just cook the chicken until it's completely done. But before the chicken is completely done, I'm going to hit it with a couple teaspoons of kosher salt, a couple teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper. I love to use coarsely ground black pepper. Use about two and a half teaspoons. And also I'm going to add some paprika. About one and a half tablespoons of paprika. I love paprika. I'm going to give everything a stir so the spices can stick to the chicken and the heat from the pan. It's going to hit those spices and it's going to enhance the flavor of the spices. So we'll be back once the chicken breast has completely browned. So my chicken breast I'm cooking for about eight minutes. And it's um it's almost completely done. So we're gonna add a few more ingredients. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm just gonna stir that in. And I'm gonna pour in about a half a cup of chicken broth. Just enough to sort of deglaze those bits on the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna use my wooden spoon to scrape. Now I'm going to have my chicken stock here on standby because we're going to get as used as needed. So I'm going to turn my heat down to medium. Now I'm going to pour in 10 ounces of cream of mushroom. If you don't like mushrooms, you can use cream of celery. You can use cream of tomato. Or you can just use all cream of chicken. And I'm going to use cream of mushroom. So that's 10 and a half ounce can. And then I'm going to use a one pound can of cream of chicken. I'm going to give that a mix and I'm going to add some more chicken stock to this in just a moment. But before I do, I'm going to put in 13 ounces of mixed vegetables. I'm using canned mixed vegetables. If you don't want to use canned, you can use frozen. But I just had them on hand and I wanted to just have something that was quick and easy that most households would have. So we're going to mix all that together. It's starting to smell really nice. Now I'm going to pour over some more chicken stock. So I think we're going to use about two cups of chicken stock total. I'm just sort of eyeballing this. So I'm going to mix everything together. So I'm going to bring this to a soft boil. So I'm going to place the lid on. This is on medium heat right now. And I'm going to place the lid on and I'm just going to let this come up to a soft boil. So all the way on medium heat and let's just let this go for about a minute. So everything is nice and hot. Say you got a little bit of bubbles coming up. So that's a soft boil. So I'm going to turn off the heat, move the pot, and I'm going to put it on the trivet. And now I'm going to work on the topping. Now for my crust, I'm going to use biscuits. And I'm using a homemade biscuit. And to see my homemade biscuit recipe, just check the link for the description box. And if you're not that great at baking, you could use canned biscuits for this. It doesn't hurt. So I'm using my biscuit dough that I made here. I'm going to roll it out. I just want to roll it so it's fairly thin. Now, if you want to do what I'm doing, where I'm going to make the cut the actual crust into small little pieces you could take all your if you're going to use canned biscuits you could take all of your canned biscuit dough and just roll it into one large piece of dough just flatten it all together and roll it all together so it's about the same size as the lid I kind of use the lid as a way to measure my pot so I'm going to use a small cookie cutter here or biscuit cutter Let's see what size I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use a one and three quarters inch cutter. And I'm just going to cut little small little circles here. And I got this from Amazon. Someone ordered it for my from my wish list. It's a really nice uh, deluxe cookie cutter set, and it's just 11 pieces. It's nice, and I like to use metal cutters because. Uh, they give you a clean cut. They don't smush the edges like a plastic would. And it helps give you a better rise when you use a metal cutter because the edges are cleanly cut. So I have my pot pie here. And I'm just going to lay 
just cut out pieces of biscuit dough on top. So now I'm going to place this in my oven to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes in my preheated 400. I'm going to take it down to 400 degrees once I put it in. So my oven's at 425 degrees. Put it in, drop the heat down to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we're going to let it bake until it's nice and golden brown and bubbly. So our pot pie is done. It took 28 minutes for the top to get nice and golden brown. They're a little bit darker than what they appear here because of the lighting. So I have here a couple of tablespoons of melted salted butter. It's two tablespoons. And I'm adding to it one and a half tablespoons of pure honey. Not honey flavored syrup, none of that. So I'm just mixing this together. This part is optional. I just want to brush this on top. It gives it a beautiful gloss and touch of sweetness. Just makes it a little bit more special. Please hit the thumbs up. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like to see. And good luck to those who are entering the contest. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to check out my previous videos. Reason dried parsley. So here it goes. I'm going to scoop up, plate up some of this delicious looking pot pie. Mm. I'll fix the big biscuits once I plate everything. And I just love how those biscuits are just covered in that beautiful gravy. So here is our delicious pot pie. I'm giving you a good close up. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. Beautiful. Let's just cut that biscuit in half. Look at that beautiful, flaky, soft center of that biscuit. Here it goes. Some of the vegetables in there. So delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's so easy to throw together, but it's so delicious. I love how all the flavors from the cream of mushroom and the cream of chicken soup really tie it in everything together. The chicken is nice and tender, flavorful, and our little biscuit crust that we made on top is absolutely buttery, delicious, and fulfilling. Please share this video, add this video to your playlist. Don't forget to check out my previous videos. And good luck to everybody that is joining the giveaway. So remember, giveaway ends on October the 23rd, 2019. You must be 18 years or older in the United States and America. And you must send me a picture of you with the prize when you win so that way i can feature in a video i want people to know that my contests are real okay please remember to live and be well let's do what we can to come together and love each other thank you so much for watching and supporting